Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the Seahawks came into Pittsburgh and came away with a win. 28-26 was the final. A terrific win for, uh, for the franchise today. Go on the road like this and, and play in such a tough place um, with a, a, a club that we're all, always concerned about when they got bent on that side and the defense, the way they play, um, it just challenges you. And the fans were there and all that. Our guys hung in there. <clears throat> and it was really important that we make this trip in particular because we got some more coming up and show our guys that we know how to do it and we can, we can go cross country and, and play in the morning and, and, uh, and play good football. They did a fantastic job and the coaches did a fantastic job to contribute to what it takes energetically to be right about uh, for game time. So I, I, that was a, a huge accomplishment for us. After leaving last week's game early, Will Disley came up with a couple of huge touchdowns today, helping to prove that he is all the way back from last year's injury. It's, it's going to be touch and go for sure. I'm just happy to be playing football again. It's what I love to do. So, um, you know, I'm just going to give everything I have to this team no matter what. Um, you know, this one feels really good. Uh, it's really, really special to be back there, um, getting the end zone one more time, and um, just grateful. And hopefully, it's not the last one. Will looked good on a couple other plays too. It wasn't just the touchdown plays. Yeah, Will's come a long ways back. He had a, a, a terrible injury. Um, he's been, a, been phenomenal about working. He has, continues to rehab. Every day he works on, on making sure that he's making progress and, and being able to sustain, and, and he's doing it. He's a wonderful football player on our team now. He's a great kid. He's so on point with his assignments and his mentality and all that, and he comes through. too. He, he's a terrific, terrific Seahawk. Defensively, Brandon Jackson playing in front of his family and friends, and he shows out sacking Ben Roethlisberger on the first drive, coming up with a quarterback hit late in the game. We wanted to make it a point of stopping him on third down, and I wanted to shout out Javion for getting me that sack. He kind of held on to Ben a little bit. I got to sneak around there and steal it off him. Both Chris Carson and Rashad Penny get going on the ground today, and it is Penny who finds the end zone with a little help from lead blocker Russell Wilson. I'm not going to lie, when we, we went back and watched it on the sideline, the first time, I kind of missed that first cut, the same exact, and then I knew this moment because I knew how this guy was playing it. So, I mean, I knew he over-pursued. The linebackers over-pursued, and, you know, it's just all about making a play, and, um, you know, shout out to Russ for the block. Well, the talk coming in was all about Ben Roethlisberger and this Pittsburgh offense, but Big Ben leaves the game just before halftime and doesn't return after suffering an elbow injury. We were surprised to see him leave, you know. You always see him get nicked up. He might leave a play or two, but he's always a guy who stays in there and finishes games. So when he's going out there, it was kind of surprising. And uh, with the new guy not being Josh Dobbs, a little different look, kind of get to uh, get his feel and things like that. How about Bradley McDougal getting this one, keeping his feet in bounds and securing the ball for an INT? Just running to the ball, just try to use some awareness. Uh, coaches got a saying, good things happen to those who run. And I was definitely running that play, you know. Uh, before that, I kind of didn't have too much action, so it was kind of like the first thing. Kind of got me started for the day. After that, I got a couple tackles after that, but it was kind of, um, it felt good to get, you know, and I felt like our offense needed it, uh, especially at that point. They were able to go down and get a touchdown score off of it and gave our team some momentum that we, that we very needed. As for Chris Carson, you will never question his effort, but that effort leads to a couple of costly fumbles today. But when the Seahawks need one yard to seal it up, he comes through. Think about the, the fourth down, fourth down and one. Uh, for us, Coach Carroll wanted to go for it. We, we, we all wanted to go for it, and sure enough, we did. Uh, and Chris Carson, uh, you know, just hitting, hitting the hole and getting that first down, how the offense line did great there. So um, it was a tremendous game, a tremendous effort. Uh, we needed everybody. Um, we came in focused. We came in ready to play. Uh, I thought we played sharp, and uh, it's exciting to see. The celebration, well, it means a number of things. Not only do the Seahawks improve to 2-0, and but Pete Carroll earns his 100th win as a coach, and it comes on his 68th birthday. Happy birthday, Coach. To be at 100 in, in year 10, and we got a lot more games to get this year. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a really, it's a, it's a proud statement to make, you know, that we're able to do that here. And, and I love so much that we're doing it for the people and the fans that love us so much, and um, I'm thrilled about it. I think it's everything. You know, the birthday, uh, 100th win, who he is as a coach, his energy. Uh, you know, we just wanted to, to show him that we was thinking about him and we understand how much work he put in to, to help us uh, kind of get where we want to be. And, you know, if you watch him and see he's 68 years old, he does not look at one bit, does not move around like that one bit. Uh, he actually kind of hit me on the sideline a little bit, kind of felt a little power. So, um, you know, he doesn't, uh, doesn't act 68. The Seahawks beat the Steelers 28-26 in Pittsburgh. They return home to CenturyLink Field next week to face the Saints.